Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We are up at our cabin in the mountains, guys. And we brought our doors plushies with us. And now we have the two new ones we just unboxed. And so we have the full set of all the doors plushies you can get right now. I know there's a few more characters, but they haven't made them into plushies yet. So we have all of them, everything that's out. So I'm gonna show you guys each one and tell you a little bit about it. So it might help you in the game. And let's start with one of my favorites, the newest one. Rush. So check Rush out. He's got that big mouth and all those teeth. And there's this creepy face. Look at that. Rush is a monster that moves at an incredible speed and he will instantly kill you on contact. So you know he's coming because the lights will flicker when he's close and then he'll show up and he'll he'll rush from one room to the next and he'll leave all the doors open. And just rush through and if you're in his way and you don't hide, you are dead because he will just kill you. He's so powerful. <laughs> So, if you see the lights flicker in the game, hurry and find somewhere to hide because he's coming and he'll get you. Now, the next one we're gonna do is Seek. And I love Seek, he's so creepy. But he doesn't show up until later in the game. He only shows up from rooms 30 to 45 and 80 to 95. And what happens is when you walk in the room, you'll start to see eyeballs on the walls like creepy looking eyeballs, so you know he's near. And then all of a sudden, the way he comes out and chases you is he's like a blob on the floor, like an ink blob, and then he goes, he comes up out of it, and then he sees you, and he'll rush and he'll chase you, and he'll chase you so fast, and he knocks all the furniture over. Everything falls in front of you as you run away from him. So you just have to run and run and run until you escape him. So that's pretty scary. And then let's do my ultimate favorite, Screech. Here is Screech. And I think he kind of looks like a sun. Don't you think, Max? Yeah. It's a little bit like a sun. And look at those big teeth. And look how creepy he is. So this one is my favorite because the way you defeat him is by looking at him or shining a light because he likes the darkness. So Screech will show up in the darkness and come and get you. And he's very quiet. So he only spawns in dark rooms. So if you have a lighter or some source of light, like a flashlight, then he won't come to you. But he sneaks up on you silently and what happens is you're playing the game and all of a sudden you'll hear psst, psst in your ear and that's Screech. And you have to hurry and look at him directly. That's the only way to beat him. If you don't look at him soon enough, you will get jump scared and you'll get some damage. So try to have some lights on hand and don't make too much noise. And if you see him, hurry and stare at him and then he'll go away. Then we've got the next one that's really cool. I really like this one too, and I think Max really likes this guy. Eyes. Here's Eyes. So he kind of, to me, he looks like a Kraken. That's what he looks like. So he just appears as a big jumble of eyes, guys. And when he comes, a purple light will fill the area where he's about to spawn. Then he's around you, and he'll stare at you and damage you, and he'll take away 10 health per tick. So he will just stare at you and you get damage while he's looking at you. So what you're supposed to do with him is the opposite of Screech. Don't look at eyes. Do not look at him. Look away and run away because he will chase you and he doesn't like it when you look at him. Sometimes he actually randomly spawns when you open a door, which is pretty creepy. He'll just be there. 
So there's eyes. So Halt is the next one. And this is Halt. And see, we keep thinking, it looks like he's got glasses, right? But he's not supposed to have glasses. His eyes glow. This is what he's supposed to look like. So that's what Halt looks like. But this one just looks like he's got glasses. Halt randomly spawns when you open a door. So you've got a chance. Every time you open a door, Halt could be there. And he'll just be right there and jump scare you. And then he's also like eyes. Lights will flicker before he shows up in a long hallway. So he shows up in like when you open a door or in a long hallway, just like Rush, and the lights will also flicker. So when the lights flicker, it could be him, or it could be eyes, or it could be Rush. You don't know. So whenever you see him, what you should do is, if you see the lights flickering, hide. Hide, because I think that's the only way you can get away from him, because he does a lot of damage. And he might even slowly walk up to you. But you've got to hide, and you've got to get away from him. Now, the next one is Ambush. Here's Ambush. And he's a monster that only shows up in the level hotel and he'll actually replace Rush. So he's like Rush, but OP. He's much faster than Rush, and he kind of takes his place as you get in those higher levels. What happens is he will try to get you out of a closet if you're hiding, and he'll instantly kill you. So you're trying to hide, but what can you do? Because he comes and gets you. And it can speed through multiple rooms and even backtrack its steps up to six times. So the only thing you can do is hide when he's around. And he's much faster than Rush, so it's really scary. And then sometimes he will show up and get you while you're hiding. So Ambush is super, super overpowered. The next one, and I think Max really loves this one. This one is Timothy, Timothy the spider. So here's Timothy. Look how cute he is. This might be one of my favorites with Screech. What do you yeah, think? That is that's my favorite. You love, yeah, this I'm is. Sweet it. Okay, this is Max's favorite too. And he's really cute, this little spider. So Timothy is actually a cute monster and he will spawn inside drawers that you open. So while you're searching through drawers for coins or or like flashlights or lighters or whatever or keys there is a chance Timothy could be in the drawer so his only purpose is to jump scare you so he doesn't hurt you he can actually only do five damage which isn't that much so he basically just jump scares you and he's pretty innocent but he can spawn any number of times in multiple drawers, even if you've already seen him. But the thing is, he's kind of rare. So you don't see Timothy a lot because the chances of seeing Timothy are one in 200. So that's why I've never encountered Timothy yet in the game. I've never even seen him yet, but I've only played it like six times, so. Okay, so that's cute little Timothy. He's basically just a jump scare guy. And the next one, I think, is the scariest, I think. He looks the creepiest. And it is Jack. This is Jack, and he actually looks kind of cute as a plushie, but look at what he really looks like. Look at that scary picture. That. He's super scary. Unlike all of the other monsters, Jack is the monster that only aims to scare you. So Jack's only purpose is to jump scare you. He doesn't hurt you. He doesn't, so you know. So he doesn't even get five damage on him? Nope, he can't hurt you. He only jump scares. But he's scary. He's the scariest. So he has a chance to show up randomly. But it's pretty rare. So there's only a one in 2,000 chance that he appears inside an open door. But there's a one in 20 chance he could appear inside a closet. So he's much more common. If you open a closet to hide, you'll see Jack. You have a one in 20 chance of seeing Jack in there. And he'll push you out and close the door. So that's a problem. If someone's coming at you like Rush or Halt or something and you're trying to hide and Jack's in the closet and he pushes you back out, oh my gosh. So he jump scares you, but he can kill you because he'll push you back out and then you'll get killed by the other monster. 
So he's super scary, but not as much damage as the others. And then the other one we have is Figure. This is Figure. So he's pretty cool and he looks like this. Figure is actually really rare also. He's pretty rare. I still haven't seen him yet, but he only shows up about twice in the game and he will try to kill you. So first he'll appear in the library once you open the hundredth door. So if you can get to 100 and get in the library, that's where Figure is going to appear, which is really scary. And what he does is follow you around. He searches for you through sounds. So he listens and any sounds you make, he can hear you and he'll come. So he'll even check in hiding spots to try to find you. So what you need to do is keep moving, move around to avoid him and keep finding new hiding spots, but you have to do it slowly, very slowly. If you're too fast, he will hear you. So there's also a mini game mechanic where a figure is nearby while you're hiding where you must match heartbeats unless you wanna get killed by him. So you actually have to match your heartbeat to his to survive. So if you come in direct contact with figure, it will instantly kill you. So don't even try and mess around. That is some serious damage. Instant death. So in the game, do you have to do a heartbeat one or if you want? Yeah, I think so. It's a mechanic in the game, a mini game. It's kind of like a mini game inside the game. It's a real game or uh -huh. it's a mini game? But it's only when you're really high up in the game. Another thing, you can't come in direct contact with him. If he touches you, you die. And the other thing is, he's actually blind. Just like green on Rainbow Friends, he's blind like that. So he can hear really good and he chases you by listening to you so you got to be really careful and this is the last one that we haven't done and the last one of all is glitch and i think glitch looks so cool he's awesome so glitch is one of my favorites he looks awesome and you can tell he's like glitched out and pixelated so he's just like his name he's a glitch and he only shows up when you're too behind in the game so if you're not going far enough you're not going fast enough or really playing he will attack and damage you and jump scare you and then teleport you back to your friends. So his damage is random. You never know exactly the kind of damage he's going to do. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. It's like between 1 and 40 of your health or 10 and 40, sorry, of your health. So if you are constantly attacked, if you keep getting attacked by Glitch, then you're probably too far behind in the game and you need to stay with your friends and keep moving forward and he will stop attacking you. So he does do variable damage and he does jump scare you. So definitely don't lollygag. Get going with that game or Glitch is going to get you. So guys, that's all our plushies and that's all about them.